And as a kid, I never thought that I would go to college. And as a young mother, I had no idea how I would survive and how I would make it. And now I work as a higher education leader and I oversee multiple academic programs for adult college students. And each of my students has their own story about how they've moved forward despite their own unique challenges. And some of them are young mothers themselves, and some of them are on the edge of being homeless, and some of them are survivors of abuse. All of them have struggled in various ways. So when I think about why I have decided to embark on this journey, and why this is my time to wage my campaign for state senate, I think about all of them. I think about the young mother who sleeps in her car, whose kids are staying with her friend while she tries to get through college. I think about a child who has asthma or migraines or leukemia because of the toxins that we put in our soil and our air and our water. I think of a small business owner who's struggling to hire employees because public transportation can't get them there. I think of the refugees from places near and far, escaping violence, natural disasters, or poverty. I'm running for state senate to be a strong, progressive voice for Western Massachusetts. I'm running to be a champion for working families and local businesses and vulnerable people. She was the only person who had the courage to put her name on the ballot. And we've all heard the whisper campaign. It's not such a whisper. We saw it the other day, but the latest candidate um, in, the, in, um, in the Daily Hampshire Gazette, and we've sort of seen it on Facebook feeds, and I remember this the latest candidate, writing candidate, said, well, I was going to take out papers and run, a, run against um, the previous uh, the sitting senator, but um, I, 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 want, you know, I, I wanted to be respectful. Well, hello? Who says you were going to win, dude? I mean, there's this kind of arrogance, and also respectful. Stan Rosenberg signed Chelsea's nomination papers. This isn't about respect. Any public servant should be happy if someone who wants to run, and especially, especially in this case, as I mentioned, any male public servant who has a female challenger who's qualified should, you know, look back and say, I've had a run. Maybe I should step down now.